hero stats you collect your Lou here guys and these are basically uh the stuff that i picked up while i was at uh, new york comic con this year which uh was 2015 um obviously you know it is right now but for anyone who may watch this years from now that way they know when it's from okay so there's quite a bit of stuff so let's get into it you know this year was a lot of fun i uh, had a great time there were a lot of good giveaways and uh, a lot of cool vendors there and a bunch of stuff that i had been looking for for quite a while and uh, i was able to acquire it so let's start with it, it is going to be no um set pattern to it because i just have piles and i'm going to pick stuff up and just show it to you so first i got uh i believe yes this was at the previews booth so let me show you that well at the previews booth uh for anyone who doesn't know who previews is it's a magazine you could get very thick one at your comic book shops and they give you all the new stuff coming out each month uh, ahead of time and then you could pre-order it and have it sent to your comic shop you just got to work it out with them but so i picked up that that was free and then they were also giving if you signed up for their online uh catalog you were able to get these free sailor moon collectibles and anyone who knows me knows i love sailor moon you could see her back there so they knew i liked her so much that they also gave me sailor mars the only one i wasn't able to get was sailor mercury so if anyone has one that they don't care for uh, or wants to sell or trade, just let me know. I'd love to pick up the last one. So I got those. And then my uh, Spider-Man headphones are starting to show their age. <laughs> the wires are starting to show. So I thought I'd get a new set. So I picked up these Superman headphones. Always, you always got to get something for good for use on the shows because, you, as you guys know, without them, you get that damn echo. So I had to get that. Then, when I stopped uh, by the McFarlane booth, uh, you got this for just stopping by and checking out what they got. So it's a blind bag from The Walking Dead, which I build the dioramas. So hopefully we'll get one that I need in there. I mean, either way, it's no big deal because I got to get, uh, you could use the extra ones to build your big dioramas. And if, if you want them to look a little different, uh, being that I used to paint and build the dioramas, I know how to paint them so I could just paint them in different color clothes or whatever. So that'll be cool. I went to the Dave and Buster's booth. And I won this shot glass just for spinning the wheel. So that was cool. I go to Dave and there's a lot. So it was nice to get that. And, you know, shot glasses always come in handy. I picked up, I went to the uh, Ash versus the Evil Dead booth and uh, outdoor experience, basically. And you went to, like, this haunted uh, trailer and it had all stuff from the show and uh, everything and you were able to pick up uh, name uh, these things out of a hat cards and they told you what you want and I got this so I was happy this was the coolest thing I saw by the time I went they were out of the t-shirt so this chainsaw was the next coolest thing they had so I was happy to get that then, uh, hopefully you could see this because I haven't opened it yet, but if you could see that, it is Aerith from Final Fantasy, Advent Children, and uh, Final Fantasy VII, the game. If you play the game, this is a wall scroll. Aerith, anyone who knows me knows that she is my favorite character from Final Fantasy VII. And I have the Tifa one that matches this, 
So I had to get a wreath that was the main one I always wanted. And when I saw it at the con, it was a no-brainer. I had to pick it up. So I got it. It was a very good price, too. So I was very thrilled to get that. Saw this cool uh, Dark Child lunchbox. And uh, being a kid who grew up in the 80s, these metal lunchboxes were a big thing. And to see a cool character like Dark Child, and for the couple of bucks it was, what the fuck? It's going to look good in the collection. So I got it. Then uh, got this... Uh, Really cool Ant-Man figure with him running on the bullet. So I call it a mini statue. And I wanted an Ant-Man in my collection. But as cool as the XM1 is, I didn't really want to spend that kind of money to have an Ant-Man in my collection. Plus Ant-Man small, so that works out perfectly. It could sit anywhere on my shelves in my collection and it'll look awesome. So I was thrilled to get that. Uh, next, we'll get into some books. Uh, we'll do this one first. There was, and this was really cool because the guy was uh, autographing it, but Evan Curry wrote this book called Heirs to the Empire, and all you had, he was giving it out for free. All you had to do was check out his booth, and he autographed it inside. So that was really cool. I love reading books. And to get something signed in for free, that's for me. So that was awesome. Speaking of books, now this guy, guys, I met in person. Uh, James Morris is his name. He wrote the, this great trilogy. Uh, this is the first book, Skybound. The second book is called Water Tower. And the third book in the trilogy is called Surface. And it's really good, guys. I'm really into it. I'm almost through the first book already, and I've only been reading it for two days. So it really captivates you. It catches you. Uh, he threw in an autograph bag, if you bought them. And uh, this is the red one. You can see his autographs in the center. Uh, they each mean something. It's called the Three Kingdoms Trilogy, but uh, each color means something. This stands for the New Power, uh, which is the group that I was drawn to because I've always been a guy that likes the bad guys. So I got that. It also came with your choice. Let me move the chain out of the way. Of Necklace. So I also picked up the new power necklace to go with it. And they gave me this. And this is uh, iPhone 6 case. Uh, so I'm excited for when I get my 6S to put this on. But that is my favorite character from the books. I'm not going to put anything out there because... I want you guys to read them. Now, hopefully, if all goes well, I'm in contact with them. Really nice people. And uh, hopefully, we'll be able to get him on the show, Immortalized and So On. And we're going to do an interview with him if all goes well. So it'll be live. It'll be great. And I'm excited for that, guys. And really, if you want a good read, check him out. Um, if you watch my the video I did with Vic, there's a link to the in the description to his book, uh, his web page where you can buy everything. So definitely give him a check out and look out for that interview. Uh, next, I met his brother who is working on a game called Toast Party. So this was Toast Party Four. This was a special. Uh, thing that they had there and he just gave it to me because they thought I was pretty cool So definitely check out that game. It's a very interesting fun take on uh, Some gaming so yeah, it's like breakfast 
uh, items fighting each other. It's really wild. <laughs> Just check it out. I think you guys will enjoy it. If only for something fun. You know, it's definitely up here. You'll like it, believe me. So then uh, I went by this one booth who was doing these pictures, and I love Harley. I pretty much get a Harley thing every Comic Con. And I saw this and I thought it was interesting because it was a Harley done in the anime style. So I picked that up. Uh, Can I hang that on the wall? So I was really excited to get that. Uh, then just some uh, pins they were giving away. Uh, one of the anime booths, Impulse. And then this one says New York Comic Con 2015. If this damn camera would ever focus, but it does say it right there New York Comic Con 2015. Uh, then we went to. Uh, here's also a card uh, for David Morris, who created the game. So check it out, Toast Party 4, if you're interested again. Uh, got this little sticker, 47 North, at one of the booths. Then I went to a booth, which uh, later... Oh, also here's some pins from the James Morris book trilogy. It's a four pack of pins. So I was excited for that. But uh, one of the other booths, which I'll show the comics later, uh, had these New York Comic Con Collector Edition pins. And I like pins. So we got unfortunately they were missing one of them. I believe yeah, number two. But they had Bad Moon Rising. I'll do my best to show you guys again. I'm sorry for the camera, but I got to get a better webcam. Uh, number three, Self Strange. That one you can see a little better. Number four is called X Mortis. I'll try to hold it to where his face is up. And then number five was, I believe it's pronounced six. That's five of five. So, again, I was only missing number two. If anyone has it and they don't need one or they have an extra, let me know. Uh, next, we'll go with my New York Comic Con T-shirt. So that's what the top of it looks like, and that's Deadpool, obviously, guys. And it's Deadpool at a hot dog cart, because anybody knows one of the big things in New York is hot dog carts and Nathan's. So I thought it was really cool that they did Deadpool with a hot dog cart instead of his chimichanga wagon. So I thought that was pretty awesome. So I had to pick up that one because uh, <laughs> new hot dogs are a staple of New York. So Then I got at the Koto Bukia booth, their catalog, and you'll see some statues I got at the Koto booth. Those will be coming up. Here is the Comic-Con 2015 um, program. So really cool. These were actually hard to come by the first two days. Then for some reason, they got tons of them the last couple of days. So I thought the, the way that worked out was pretty interesting. I'm going to save the comics and the statues till very last. So next, I got this cooler for the Steve Wilco show, uh, and I won it on a wheel. And I actually got called for uh, free tickets to the show, so I'm going to call them back up and set up a day to go check it out. Uh, I got this T-shirt at the Chevrolet booth, New York Comic Con. 2015. They give one out every year. 
So I have one for every year. I've been there that they've been there. So that's cool. Uh, then my man, Mike, I want to thank you again. He hooked me up. He knew that I collected Dorbs. So he gave me the Dorbs Batmobile with Batman Rod, Dorbs Rides number one. This was really cool. This was an exclusive and uh, for Toy Tokyo. So I thought that was really cool of him. Uh, thank you again. He didn't have to do that. He's a really great guy. And it was an awesome pleasure meeting him in person. And uh, basically, that's why I went to say hello to him every day because he was that cool guy. He's really a nice guy, and I'm so happy to have met him and uh, became friends. And I have him on the show and everything. So next, he also knows that I collect some Funko Pops. So they have these things called Pop Stacks. Uh, which you basically, they're plastic uh, containers you put your pops in. So he hooked me up with some of those. And I was that was also very cool of him. I picked up the Oliver Queen pop. Speaking of pops, I love this show, Arrow. So I got this. Um, all right, uh, I got this at a booth, Omakase, and they just were giving away a bag, which I have the bag downstairs, and then some chopsticks. I love eating Chinese food, and I eat them with chopsticks, so that was cool. Now we'll get into the comics, then we'll do the art prints, and then we'll do the uh, statues last. So first, I went to ARH Comics, you know, a, well, ARH statues, but they're also ARH Comics as well now. If you didn't know, they are making comic books to go with their statues. So I was able to get uh, from ARH, I picked up the New York Comic Con exclusive uh, Medusa, and I picked up the New York Comic Con exclusive Arcala. Queen of Vampires, so this is our column number one, Queen of Vampires, and as you can see, it is autographed, which was really cool, and mine is autographed by our home, and also by the guy that uh, did the comic, wrote it, so that was very cool. Uh, these I could show fast later. They're just some promos that they gave out. Okay. Then I got uh, Jurassic Strike Force 5. That was a giveaway. If you, They had a gun there, a crossbow, and if you got the target, if you hit it anywhere on the target, you got this comic for free. So I did that. Uh, I also bought uh, Van Helsing. The collected edition, very cool. And for getting this, they threw in uh, Van Helsing versus Dracula, the comic book. And that was at the Xenoscope booth. Let's go to this. Now, next, I went to see J.P. Roth who is one of my favorite comic book uh, artists. And uh, she, she makes awesome comic books. So I was able to get a lot of her stuff signed. And you can see one here. I just love her covers. And the greatest thing with her is that not only is the artwork on the covers great, but it goes throughout the whole book. There's another one of her covers, and all of them are autographed. This is one she did with Ebaz. So he, there's both their autographs on this one. 
Here's another one of hers. Absolutely love this cover. Uh, and you'll see an art print of the same thing that I got with it, but it shows more of the uh, this picture. Another one. This was one of her collective books. So as you can see, that's a thick one to trade. So it has the whole story. This is a Comic-Con cosplay exclusive from Ebaz. And I got that autographed by him. Eric Basil Dua, for anyone who doesn't know him as Ebaz. At the Sideshow booth, I got The Court of the Dead, a Mortal Rising comic book. So that was cool. They also gave out, which I'll show... A gift card so very cool those come in handy and it's got a cool picture on it I picked up my next autograph book was rainbow in the dark the complete saga and it's uh, signed by both the writer and artist inside so that was very cool great story on this if you're interested in comics that have awesome stories, check it out. Here's a bunch more stuff I'll just show quick later. I got, uh, this was at the booth that was giving away the pins. And I got Sunflower 1. And that's autographed. Bad Moon Rising 1. Self Strange One, Ex Mortis One, and this one is autographed as well. We can see it up here. Six, number one of six, and that's also autographed. I picked up the Dark One, that was autographed. Uh, this is one of the special covers. They were giving away three different covers. I was lucky enough to get one of these, which is the rarer cover. And that's autographed by the same two that did uh, Rainbow in the Dark. I got the Uniques, and that's book one and book two. And both of those are autographed by both of them as well. Another awesome storyline guys that I can't wait to get into. Uh, when they told me what it was about, I just got excited and I had to buy them. And then the uh, from I went to a booth, uh, the same booth actually that I got All right, guys, now that we're back, being that this stupid Google Plus keeps crashing every week, this is the new thing. Uh, so we'll have to deal with it. So sorry for those few seconds of crazy silence and awkwardness. But uh, from the same guys that did the Uniques and Rainbow in the Dark, I got this custom sketch cover on my Harley Quinn Zero. And I really love it. It's beautiful. It's done in those, uh, I, I call them like dulled colors, 
but uh, it's a special type of artwork and I, color artwork, and I love it. And they, they did all this extra stuff with the lines and Harley's symbols and everything. So it came out really great, and I'm super happy to get it. Every year I get at least one custom sketch cover done, and I always keep a bunch on hand whenever I go to a con. So I was happy to get those. Now we'll go to some custom artwork. And then lastly, to the statues. Oh, first, uh, Dallas Barbecue. I got this shot. They ain't too bad at that. was the restaurant me and Vic went to afterwards with Tess. And then so I got in my art portfolio some great artwork. That's one. I believe this one is by, forgive me if I get the name wrong, but Nia Rufino, I think, did that. And these two. So I was happy to get those. These were all great artists that I love. Here's the uh, two by J.P. Roth. These are all 11 by 17s, guys. And this is the one, the book I was telling you about, uh, the comic, and this is the whole picture. This one is by Ebaz over here, this one. And... This one was by, now I'm going to draw a blank on our name, but it's Dawn, some, Dawn something, I'm going to, I forget it offhand, but he, these were also by her. She works with J.P. Roth and uh, Nia Rafino. And she also did the Spider-Gwen. This is from the book. Uh, he gave me this as well, James, Mar James Morris. These are from Ebaz. Love that Harley and the Joker. Ebaz is one of my favorite artists, so I was happy to get to meet him. This one's Ebaz as well. This was by the same guy, people that did Rainbow in the Dark. Oh, uh, no, these were from a different year. Yes, that was it for the artwork there. And then for the statues, these were all Koto Bukias. But I picked up Kitty Pride. I always was a big fan of hers. So I was happy to see this to go with my Jubilee. I picked up Zatanna. Very cool piece. It looks just like that picture. Picked up the wasp. Really liked uh, seeing her in the Ant-Man movie. So I got excited for it and I picked up this. I really liked how this one looked. And then lastly, I picked up the Comic-Con exclusive. Sakura in her gym outfit which is awesome. Everyone knows I love Sakura. She's one of my favorite Street Fighter characters. And since I have uh, the custom quarter scale one of her in a regular outfit, I figured let me get the custom with the exclusive with the uh, gym outfit. So, guys, that's pretty much everything I got at the con. Uh, I told you about the two statues I ordered from ARH. So, um... Hope you liked it. 
uh, be, they're just a whole bunch of random free articles and stuff, you know, stuff like this that they were handing out, not in that important that I need to show. And then a really cool show, Taruk, which I'm looking forward to seeing if it ever comes to New York. But, guys, that's everything I got at the con. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you liked it. I hope if you were there, you had a great time. I'd love to see your pickups. I've been watching quite a few from people who went, and I just love seeing what everyone got and what I may not have seen because it was huge. So, guys, it was a great time. Until next year, this is uh, at the con. This will be Hero Statue Collector Lou out. Peace. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook at Heroic Sculptures and Twitter at Heroic Sculpture.